I think that's really what's um, kind of essential about this work, that stories can touch our heart. And so it makes you feel something. And when I think about the term heart print books, which I've, you know, obviously written about, and we both sort of kind of agree with the impact of books in our hearts, I think that's really where story has been most meaningful to me when it touches me in a way that I feel something strongly. And I'm a very emotional person, as you can tell, like I could cry over a book, I could cry over a Hallmark commercial, I could cry over, uh, you know, a story that someone tells me. Um, and it could be tears of joy or tears of sadness. And, you know, just being able to talk with someone about story, I think that also makes your heart grow. And so that sort of translated in my work into what I do with kids in learning the stories that have touched their hearts. Because there is no one book. And I think that's also the beauty of the diversity in story because, you know, the reader writes the story. And um, I've had this conversation with other authors before and authors sometimes say, wait, what do you mean? Like I wrote the story and many do understand what we're saying, but I think it's the idea that we have to take story and kind of unpack and think about the layers within that story that we can all relate to. And we relate to those things in different ways because we are different. And I think that's really the beauty of story, finding and accepting the differences and honoring those differences and being able to talk about what we love in story and, and what's touched us in, in many ways. When you were talking, I was thinking about my second grade teacher, Miss Belinder, who I love talking about during school visits, where I talk about how reading is a workout for your imagination and reading is a workout for your heart. And I love telling students that I remember the year 1988 very vividly, because in the year 1988, Miss Belinder was my teacher. And it was the very first time that I ever saw a teacher cry because of a story. And many people can predict the story that Miss Valinder read to us in 1988 was Charlotte's Web. And I especially love talking to fifth graders about Charlotte's Web because they often think they're too old to read Charlotte's Web if they haven't already experienced it. I always say, no, you are never too old to read Charlotte's Web, that it's a book that will touch our hearts at a different time in our lives, depending upon what we're going through.